I'm a submissive legend. Here. M massive legend. Here. Really, cunt. Being fucking. Are we actually? Are we actually doing this right now? I. Uh, I actually can't be fucking bothered. Like. Fuck me, honestly. Now. <laughs> A group of concerned parents is petitioning Marvel to make the Hulk wear a bra because his massive pecs are bound to arouse teens. Okay, what the fuck? I don't know what kind of kids these parents have, but if they're getting little stiffies over the Hulk's titties, then they've got a lot more problems to worry about. They're claiming that the teenagers whose hormones are going wild, that Hulk's chest is huge and cool, therefore put impure thoughts in their minds! <sighs> okay, I'm I'm done. I'm fucking out. Fuck this. In a world where Kim K and her fake ass and tits are the face of social media, parents are worried that the Hulk's titties are gonna arouse their kids. We got tits and ass shoved down our throats every single day from pop stars to movie stars to porn stars. But no, that's not the problem. Hulk's titties, that's the problem. <laughs> Sake. This generation has unlimited access to millions of hours of any kind of porn you want, like straight, bi, lesbian, Asian, black, gangbang, BBC, six black men with one small petite white blonde girl, a uh, fucking hentai, tentacle porn, anything! But no. This is what draws the line. That's it, we've had enough, that this is the last straw. We're banning the Hulk's titties. Marvel need to make sure that the Hulk gets a bra that covers his incredible tits! <laughs> what? What? He needs a bra for his incredible titties. Oh my god. Is this a parody? Just please tell me it's a parody. While they're at it, making the Hulk's ass less phenomenal would be helpful. Phenomenal ass. He, he has a phenomenal ass. He actually does, to be fair. I just want to know who the fuck out here getting turned on by Hulk's titties. Uh, me. I'm getting turned on by the Hulk's titties. Oh, uh, but wait! What is this? Oh, uh, it turns out it's a parody. Who would have guessed? <laughs> oh my god! It's a click hole article! <laughs> Silly me! And I almost believed it. Yeah, it, it, it's a parody. It's satire. It's fucking good. Oh, by the way, we've we've moved, as you can fucking see. A new location. It's kind of sad though that for a second there, I actually believed it. This society is so fucked that I actually believed it because we live in a society. I want to believe it. Because it's great! And the Hulk does have some incredible slingers. Hashtag Hulk titties for teenagers. Let's get that trending. Hello darkness, my old friend. Uh, yeah. In other news, gaming is now a disorder. <laughs> or something like that. At first I looked at this like, what the fuck? But again, it's just mainstream media trying to make shit up again, essentially. But what's new? The term of gaming disorder, and this took literally 10 seconds of looking into, is used to describe extreme cases where gaming is pretty much overtaking this, guy, this person's life. And in this case, it makes perfect sense to call this a disorder. So, again, clap, clap for the cunts. I was gonna make a full video on this gaming disorder thing, but it's a non-story. Uh, the only way I'm gonna make a shitty video out of it is if I fucking lie. I'm not down to do that, which is why I don't get many views. How about a fellow, fellow white boy? Gaming is now a recognized disorder, but transgender is not. Oh my God. What, what am I gonna, gonna do? do? Um. Yeah.